step our game up, we lose the foundation of our teaching. And then we be then the worst thing about us, we try to imitate somebody. Yeah. Yeah. Look, don't imitate, gravitate. You, God don't want you to become nobody else. He wants you to learn. Don't imitate to be like them and think you're going to get the same response. Amen. God don't want a duplication. Amen. 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 He, want, he wants a manifestation, not duplicate. He wants it to come out of a learning process. Not because you saw somebody else do it and go change and rearrange your whole ministry. You, you, you were jungle budding last week and now you stand up. Oh, we worship you. I don't even want to go to your church because that's fake. That's right. You're doing it because you want to be like somebody else. Amen. Then you're going to lose all that that brought you where you were. Right. You're going to lose your flavor. Right. Amen. Don't, don't take the fuck out of your praise. Yeah. Keep the fuck in your praise, yeah. brother. Right. Oh, fuck. Yeah. Nothing you. No. I'm going to help y'all. No. We have a group of white people come to our church every Tuesday night. They don't want us lifting our hands, don't know any and things like they do. They love to see us do our thing. Cause they want, and they told us. They told us. They said, we don't want they want If y'all are going to act like us, we ain't coming back. <laughs> we want to hang around white people, we hang around white people. They said, that's why we come to here because we got sick of hanging around white people. We won't get no delivery. When we saw this ministry here and we saw the power of God up in here, that's what we came from. And they come every Tuesday night like clockwork. Yes, they do. Faithful every night. And they love this black flag. <laughs> they love, they love the fuck with this. They they do, you all are seeing. I'm serious. Amen. They are hungrier than most of us. Uh, Amen. Exactly <laughs> but I'm not asking them to not don't now don't don't try to be black because now I can't appreciate you. That's then right. you faking. Don't, don't be like me. Don't right. imitate. Right. Be who you are. That's That's right. Right. You see what I'm saying? The, the anointing shouldn't change your ethnicity. Amen. It should improve on who you are. And so here I was, you know, God wanted to add something to me. I, you know, hindsight now, I'm saying, God wanted to add to me so I'd be able to minister to all people. But at that point, I was just all black. Straight up. Right, right. Straight up. I couldn't, I couldn't, I have never prophesied to any, had never prophesied to any white people, and, and wouldn't know what to say to them. It was so because, number one, the fear and the persona. Yeah. Of who they were would have hindered me, yeah. and I didn't understand because I was never around any of them. I didn't know that they had problems like we had problems. Exactly. <laughs> Amen. The same demon jump us, jump on them. Yeah. It may be in a higher bracket. We suffer behind two dollars, and they suffer behind two million. But the need is a need. And if you have the anointing, if you if you are hindered by fear, you can't minister to them. So God wanted to introduce me. And the man of God didn't go with me. He sent me by myself. <laughs> Amen. I was the runaway child running wild. <laughs> Lost in that great big city. I literally got, when I came out of that meeting, I literally was lost. I didn't know. He didn't even give me the car. <laughs> well, teach me something. Sorry. You're going to have to go forward. And many of us, we won't go get the things of God because it's, it's not convenient. Amen. We look at how far we got to go. Amen. And we won't go nowhere to get it. But anything worth having is worth making the sacrifice to go get it. And I told y'all tonight, so y'all go to hell reading that Bible. You better study that scripture. Because the Bible said that God told Abraham to go up to that mountain. It won't cross the street either. He had to walk with him and that little young boy yeah. and all those men that was with him. And when he got where he was going, he told me, y'all stay here. Yeah. This is as far as y'all can go. And me and the boy, we are going yonder. We going up into Jerusalem, into the mountain. I'm talking, they weren't going to no little hill. They were going up in the mountain where mountain goats go. Why do you think that ram got up there? That's terrain where animals go. Human beings can't climb that high. But when God tells you to go somewhere, I don't care how high it is, you got to get away from human, human beings, you got to get away from religion, you got to get away from anything that will hinder you. You got to press till nobody else will press with you. You got to keep going till folks start dropping off. That's right. You go to the church across the street, you'll bring all them demons with you. But when you tell them, say, I'm going over the other side, hey, child, you going way over there, that's to get a word from God. I ain't going good. I found somewhere where you won't go. I just gave y'all a revelation, but you, you want to dump that so-called friend 
that old mouthy one, that old critical one, always criticizing every preacher. Got something to say? Say, I'm going to say, well, hang on, child, you go by yourself. Hang on over there. See, if you are born again, don't have no preferences and no restrictions as to where you will go to get a word from God. If God said you to pack it up and go to North Carolina for one service. Get on your bicycle, your skateboard, <laughs> on your scooter, your home truck, whatever you got to get in, you get there and get there. Right. I have drove to a service that was over two hours away or more. We had one car. I drove the saints down there, came back and got the other load and drove back and preached. Like I, I ain't never not preached like you see me preaching. Well, I, I, back in the day, I preached a little bit. Harder. <laughs> I was real black then. <laughs> I did the hot. Oh, and you could not hot me neither. Well, I was good. <laughs> Long then I picked you up on the chair. But my father, God said, boy, you better slow down. I said, what you mean slow down? He insulted me. Slow down, good as this is. <laughs> Slow down. I'm, I mean, I'm working out. I'm, you know, when you preach, you, you preach so good, you feel it. <laughs> like that, man. I got so. I got to make me feel so good. I had to jump back and get a few myself. <laughs> 